I was just recently asked this again, and I thought I'd just answer it in video format. Is the NativeScript Playground a serious tool to get full NativeScript apps developed, complete, built, and deployed? And my answer is no. That's not what it's for. It's not for that. And I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons right now. So if you're not familiar with the NativeScript Playground, it's a place that you can go to to get started with NativeScript. You can basically just code in your browser and then you can use a real device to scan a barcode. Well, technically it's a QR code, doesn't matter. You can scan a QR code and then the app will pop up on your phone and you can develop as you're seeing changes live. It's pretty amazing, really. The technology behind it is insane. You can drag and drop controls onto the page. You can drag a grid, you can drag a label, and it's a good place to learn and to get started. You'll even see how the components are wired up together. You can use NativeScript View, NativeScript with Angular, NativeScript Core, NativeScript with plain JavaScript, and even React is in there. So yeah, it's a really good place to get started. But why is it not a good place to do full-fledged development? After a certain point, you'll just find some limits that it has. Right off the bat, it has too many imports. It wants to import as much as possible into that application just so that you have the capability to use those things right away things like all the NativeScript UI components, which you might not even be using. You won't be able to deploy from there. You still need to build it locally or in the cloud and then deploy. You won't be able to run it as a real independent app on a device. Whenever you run an app from the Playground app, it's always going to have that shell of the preview app. So it's gonna run within the context of that. So some UI things that are really clever, really tricky, might not show up exactly as they would on an actual app on an actual device. Most of the stuff is gonna work, but there are gonna be a few exceptions and edge cases that you're gonna not even see. You do want to actually have this working on your local machine, built using the CLI. And one really important thing you won't be able to do with the playground and that's debugging. So yeah, it'll allow you to play, but coming back to the question, is it gonna allow you to do serious work and create production quality apps well no it won't you're gonna have to start there then download the project which it'll allow you to do you can actually download the project right from there and then you'll be able to further continue your development locally if you want to learn about native script i have some free videos on this channel check it out including videos on how to set up your environments in both windows and on a mac so i'll link those down below it's been fun i'll see you in the next video good luck